Good evening again. I decided to, uh, for the people of Victoria, to cover an additional point, which is way shorter, actually, on the same page 10 uh, of 14. You have point F, basically, uh, Seleucus the fourth Philopater in verse 20. Seleucus the fourth uh, Philopater will prove to be right here. Uh, Sorry, give me uh, give me a second here. Change it for the Seleucus the fourth, capital G. Okay, I didn't have the thing to change uh, automatically. Distance, Seleucus the fourth, Philopater, chapter eleven, verse twenty, from one eighty seven uh, or one eighty six BC to one hundred and seventy five BC. It's a very short point before we move into uh, Antiochus Epiphanes. Uh, the, the fourth, which is uh, basically will produce the Feast of Anuka. It's because of him that we'll have the Feast of Anuka. And this I will provide you with more details and it gets more interesting about the Jewish history, about, uh, about these things. So we already prayed for the first session. Let's move on with Seleucus the fourth Philopator from 187 or 186 BC. 175 straight down to 175 BC it's only one verse chapter 11 verse 20 then in his place circle in his place one will arise who will send an oppressor circle oppressor through the jewel of his kingdom yet within a few days he will be shattered do not in anger nor in battle so now he is the king. Who is that person? Seleucus IV Philopater. When it says, then in his place, one will arise. In which place? In the place of um, Seleuc uh, uh, the, the new one is Seleucus IV Philopater. In his place corresponds, as you have probably have figured out in your mind, corresponds to Antiochus III the Great. So he, Seleucus, come in his place. And the oppressor is Iliodorus. Iliodorus, that's the oppressor right here. When I ask you to circle, he will send a press, a, a, an oppressor through the jewel of his kingdom or the adornment of his kingdom. Yet within a few days, circle also a few days, he will be shattered. Do not in anger nor in battle. So Eleodorus will be the oppressor of the Jewish people. What he will do, he will collect more tax because he was defeated by Rome. So he will collect more tax basically to be able to pay Rome and he will, the temple now will no longer be exempt nor the priesthood here. The priests and everybody will pay tax. So there will be heavy taxation on the Jewish people at that time. And in verse 20, you have the few days. So Seleucus uh, IV, basically Philo um, Pater, he reigned for a period of only 11 years. His father, you know his fa father, Antiochus the Great uh, the Third here, that was his father, reigned for actually 37 years. Uh, you just see your half page above the king here. And he ended up, this uh, Seleucus, the fourth Philopater, being poisoned. And he was poisoned by Eleodorus. He is the one that gave him the poison in this complete our section here. So next week, session number four, Antiochus Epiphanes, which is a type of the Antichrist. So that's why we're going back a little bit in our book of Revelation, reference to it. That's why it's necessary to do Daniel. Because he was not the Antichrist, but Antiochus Epiphanes uh, the fourth will be a type of the Antichrist. So that's why your point number four is about him. And after that, point number five, the Antichrist, Michael in Israel. Now the rest of the flow until the end of chapter 12 of Daniel will be very interesting. And this is my invitation not to miss. Thank you for bearing with me with the tedious part of it, shorter session, a bit tedious. You will be rewarded for this. I bid you shalom. Thank you for all things.
See you next week.